guys are uh, doing well the ones that are watching uh, we've got two people on at the moment but uh, today's been a very good day I had a lockdown beer delivery from Forgotten 43 here in New Zealand I don't know if that's gonna show up very well so I got like a mixed case of beer and I thought I'd try this one first because it's not one of the beers that I've tried it's uh, you can see there it's a limited release it's their highway haze so high highway uh sorry a hazy ipa so i thought we'd uh, open that up i had no idea what the hops are so yeah we'll pour it up first a little hiss there so yeah these turned up on the doorstep around lunchtime today so they've been in the fridge for a while just to cool down Should be able to be fairly aggressive by the looks. There we go. G'day, J Man and Matt. Thanks for joining in. Beautiful colour there. As you can see, nice and hazy. Fair bit of carbonation coming up too. Beautiful looking cap there. Um, so yeah, I, like I say, I don't know anything about the beer, what's going into it, or what hops. So. Um, Get a nose on it. it smells like a, um, a hop fruit bowl off the top. Real nice and uh, fresh. Fresh, clean sort of hop aroma coming off. Really juicy. Yeah, beautiful orange colour. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, J-Man. Um, yeah, beautiful colour. Um, pretty much taste how it looks. Knowing uh, Mike and the guys down at Forgotten 43, there'll be um, uh, a combo of hops in here. They normally do, you know, three, four hops at a time. Oh, it smells delicious. I'm not oh, that is good. Really, first thing that strikes me, apart from tons of hops, is really, really juicy. Uh, yeah, lots of, uh, same as on the nose. Cheers, Stas. Just um, cracked open the first of the beers sent to me um, by Mike, or ordered from Mike and the guys. Uh, Highway Haze, Hazy IPA. Just saying it's like a real fruit bowl. Uh, tropical fruits, um, like pineapple, mango, um, peach even, um, yeah, all those sort of flavours, super juicy, hey Finn, thanks for tuning in, um, super juicy, super fresh, um, you can tell this was bottled up recently, some real nice um, bitterness up front, pretty much everything you'd want from a uh, from a hazy, yeah, yeah, J-Man, it would have, probably knowing Mike, it's got a huge um, Whirlpool edition and, and then probably the same amount again in a dry hop. Um, yeah, it's all about the hops, but uh, having said that, it's got a beautiful mouthfeel, um, nice and slightly creamy. Hey, Mike, sorry about the um, lack of warning. So I'm, I'm drinking, so Mike's here, Hard Yards Brewing, uh, one of the brewers of the beer. Um, can you enlighten us to what the hops are, Mike? Cheers, Kesa, and how are you going? Oh, here we go. Uh, Stas. Okay, so Mike has come back, so the hops are Magnum. I'm assuming Magnum for the early bittering. Uh, where's the damn... Sorry, guys. Let me... Bring back the chat. Okay, so Magnum for bittering, Raquel, Hort four three three seven, which I use fairly recently for a beer, which was um, beautiful, um, and Lupulin Citra. That's that's a fantastic combo. 
Um, yes, that, that Lupin and Citra and that Hort 4337 have probably given it that real nice um, mouth, oily mouth coating, sort of um, fresh uh, resinous type uh, quality. It's a very easy drinker, 5.8, you could easily sit on that. Cheers guys, well thanks for watching, thanks for the info Mike, and also thanks for uh, the beers, so I've got uh, two lots of uh, four, so eight beers to get through. Um, I'll probably only do videos of the ones that I haven't done before, because I have done some video reviews of some of the other beers before, so stay tuned for that, and over and out. My pleasure, Mike. Thanks for the beers. Fantastic drop.